Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on importing mesh files in open form. In this tutorial, you will learn to import mesh files from a meshing software in open form. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu version 12.04, open form version 2.1.1, paraview version 3.12.0. As a prerequisite, the user should know how to generate a mesh in software like Gambit, Ansys ICEM, CFX, Salome, etc. Using block mesh, we can easily make simple geometries. For example, box, pipe. It is difficult to create complex geometries using block mesh. But OpenFoam supports importing mesh from third party meshing software. There are commands available in OpenFoam to import these mesh files. We will now learn to import these files. Here is the geometry of our case. We have a square cylinder, length 1 meter by height 1 meter. Inlet velocity is 1 meter per second. We are solving this for a Reynolds number RE equal to 100. The domain chosen is 40 meters by 60 meters. The boundary conditions are as shown in the diagram. This is the mesh file generated in a meshing software. In your OpenFoam working directory, go to the IcoFoam solver and click on it. Now create a folder by the name Cylinder. Now go to the cavity case. Copy the zero and the system folder from the cavity case. Paste this inside the cylinder folder. Note that you do not need the constant folder. On my desktop, I have a fluent mesh file with a .msh extension. It is named as cylmesh.msh. Copy and paste this file in the cylinder folder in IcoFoam. Our setup is now ready. Open the command terminal, type run and press enter. Type cd space tutorials and press enter. Type cd space incompressible and press enter. Type cd space icofoam, press enter. Type cd space cylinder and press enter. For a fluent mesh file, in the command terminal, we need to type fluent mesh to foam. Note that M, T and F here are capital. Space C, Y, L, M, E, S, H dot M, S, H and press enter. On the terminal, you will see that the mesh file is now converted to open foam data file. Now go back to the cylinder folder. The constant folder has been generated. Click on the constant folder to open it. Transport property file is missing from the constant folder. Go two levels back and copy the transport property from the constant folder of the cavity case. Paste this inside the constant folder of cylinder which we created just now. We will keep the default viscosity. Switch back to the terminal. Note that we do not run block mesh command here. To view the boundary conditions in the mesh file, go to constant, polymesh, type ls. You will see the boundary file. Open it in any editor of your choice. The boundary condition names are as seen in the geometry slide. In case of any error with the boundary names, you can refer the boundary file. Close this. In the terminal, go two levels back and go to the zero folder. Open the pressure file in the zero folder. Note that the boundary names 
should exactly match with the boundary file. Change them if needed. Close this file. Go one level back and go to the system folder. Open the control dict file. We will change the end time of the control dict file. Close this. Go one level back. To start the iterations, type icofoam and press enter. Iterations running will be seen in the terminal. To view the geometry, type parafoam and press enter. In the paraview window, click on the apply button in the object inspector menu. You can see the geometry. In the active variable control menu, change from solid color to U velocity. The initial velocity condition is seen here. Click on the play button in the VCR menu on the top right hand side. We can see the velocity contours with the passage of time. Close the paraview window. Here is a list of command to import geometry from other meshing software. For ANSYS, ANSYS to foam space file name. IDEAS, IDEAS to foam space file name. CFX, CFX to foam space file name. Salome, IDEAS UNV to foam space file name. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. As an assignment, try importing the mesh file of a circular cylinder. Mesh file by the name circyl.msh is provided with this tutorial. Solve it using the icofoam solver. In this tutorial, we learned importing geometry from other meshing softwares. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have a good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT. MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this URL. This is Rahul Joshi from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.